Hi everyone, Clara Bramley back again. So we're talking feet, and I just want to go through just some of the muscles that are hugely important in terms of our whole weight-bearing alignment when we stand. Because the leg works from the, the low back, pelvis, hip, knee, ankle, foot, okay? But you can work from foot, knee, hip, pelvis, low back, all right? And that's actually how I'm going to work it this time. Just to try and explain it differently, okay, now I don't know if you can see here. But we're looking at the back of the body here. And there's some muscles here in the buttocks that are called gluteus medius and minimus. Now they stabilize the hip, okay. And then there's a big muscle on the front here. This one here, that is called vastus medialis. Or, uh, you know, sometimes in sporting circles, it's called VMO, vastus medialis origin, okay? It's, it's the most important quad muscle, quadriceps muscle. It stabilizes the knee and the kneecap, okay? Then in the foot, we've got a variety of muscles that work the ankle and the foot, okay? So let me just show you in, sorry, in terms of the ankle. So in terms of the ankle... The muscle that pulls the ankle up is this muscle here, good to be able anterior. And then the muscle that points the ankle down is our calf muscle. Oh, we've got two of them. Okay, two calf muscles. All right, so what I just want to show you is when we're standing, now I'll just tip this a little bit so that you can see me standing. Okay. So when we're standing, and thinking about weight bearing through one foot, what we want to have is that we're, when we're standing, can you see if I just collapse on this hip, can you see the angle that goes through? What lands up happening with that is I land up taking weight on the outside of my foot. So, you know, if you're a person who stands like this all the time, and, and perpetuate that, that becomes your movement pattern. And what landed up happening with me when I hurt my knee? I was wanting to take my weight off that knee because it was sore. But the thing is, to actually get the knee better, I had to rethink that. Because to get the knee better, I have to make my muscles work to stabilize the joint. So I had to bring my weight onto that leg. But I also had to work these muscles here. So I couldn't collapse like that. You've got to work those buttock muscles, okay? So you've actually got to, you've got to squeeze it. You've got to squeeze those muscles, okay, to make those muscles work. So when you're standing, you've actually got even weight. And then you can squeeze the knee. And then in terms of the foot, I had to turn that foot so that I could get my base of big toe down on the floor. Okay, so when we're standing, this is called plantar grade, or in terms of Pilates, it's called tabletop, because your foot is positioned exactly right. And if we had to tip it this way, you'd be able to balance a full cup of tea on that, okay, all right? So just keep that in mind, and in the next video, I'll show you how to actually start looking at the foot and the ankle to try and see if you can retrain some of these important movements, okay?